Hi, welcome back to my channel. This book review is for The Opportunist by Elise Friedman. Now, I'm going to put myself into this story for a minute because my husband will be 70 on his next birthday. Let's just say I wasn't in the picture for one reason or another and he wanted to remarry. What would I think if his new fiance, soon to be wife, was younger than the youngest of all of my adult children. That puts me right into the story to tell you what the opportunist is about. Because our character, Ed, is dating his nurse, Kelly. Ed is 72. Kelly is 28. Is she a gold digger? In fact, I'm not sure if he if Ed is a millionaire or a billionaire, but all I can tell you is he has deep, deep, deep pockets. So you have Alana and you have, I believe, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. Her brothers, Teddy and Martin, who want to stop this wedding. No way is their father going to marry somebody decades and decades younger. And in fact, if her father marries this woman this nurse, then where will their inheritances go? They want their inheritances. They deserve that money for their father who is in declining health. Now, while Alana is a bit more estranged from Teddy and Martin, like it's like Teddy and Martin are two peas in a pod. I don't know if you can see my fingers. But Alana's kind of over here and Teddy and Martin are over there. But bottom line is they both, I mean, they all three have their father's best interests at heart, right? Or is it all about the money? Is it about their father's fortune? Or is it about their father's well-being? Or is it about love? Could it be love? Could a 72-year-old man truly love this 28-year-old woman? Well... The family, the adult children, Teddy, Martin, and Alana, feel that Kelly, the nurse, the fiancé, is a gold digger. So they come up with a plan. We're going to get rid of her. No, 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 not in a dastardly way. But they come up with a plan to wipe her off the pages of the book, send her on her merry way, and make sure that their father's will leaves them the inheritances, the fortune, the dollars, the businesses, the Cartier watches, the Rolexes. They're going to get it all and they're going to stop this opportunist right in her tracks and she's gone. That's our story. But there's another story. Another story within a story? Yes. It's about Alana. Remember I said that Teddy... And Martin are kind of two pieces in pod, and Alana is over there. Yes, she was estranged from the family. And when you see at least one of the brothers, I'm not quite sure if it's both, they are rolling in wealth. Whether it is by the car they drive, the watches on their wrists, the cufflinks that they wear on their shirts, they are doing well financially. Whereas Alana's over here and she's driving a beater. And it might, I, I'm not sure, but it ends up in the shop. And it needs this and it needs that. Can she come back into the family fold and get what is due her if and when her father? Well, I guess time is of the essence because he is in failing health. Can she come back into the picture? Now, how are they going to get rid of Kelly? Well, let's look at a little sabotage planning. Yeah, let's try this. And let's try that. Okay. This didn't work. That didn't work. We're going to do even more layers. When you have me as a reader, you need to find a way to suck me into the story and keep me invested. Remember, I stepped into the story picturing my husband with a new wife younger than our youngest. And our youngest is 20, 26. So it just, I don't know. And then you factor in the estrangement. Then you factor in the motive. 
could Kelly truly be in love with Ed? Then, then, those secrets, those lies, that deception, it hasn't lost the steam one bit. This was a fast-paced roller coaster. You're going up, 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 up. That's what happens in this book. So that's all I'm going to say. The Opportunist by Elise Friedman. Um, let's find out who the publisher is because I never know. I just read the books when, they're at, when they ask me to read the books. Or they invite me and I'm like, oh yeah, that looks good. So this is Mira. This is from the Holoquin publication. So it's a Mira book. Came out on December 6th. So once I get this video edited, I will post it here on this channel. And I think my blog tour for this book isn't until the 9th. So you won't see this on my blog for a few days. But you will see this video very, very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.